All right, diving into the pass game a little bit here, guys. We're going to talk about uh, attacking defenses with, with different pass concepts, general ideas, okay? Um, so we're going to draw the box in here, smaller this time because we're not focusing on that. Um, and let's just draw, well, first of all, let's just draw a two receiver set here. Understand that when, you, when you're dealing with most zone defenses, there's really two layers to that canopy of that zone. Um, there's the linebacker, lower level, okay, and, and yeah, the corners or safeties can be involved in that. But there's that lower level, which involves the hook zones, the flats, that middle drop. And then there's the deep zone, which is where you get your deep thirds, deep halves, deep quarters. So one of the problems that trips receivers, poses problems for defenses, is you can very quickly get three levels. And then you can create a what's good, you know, if I have a level here, a, a shallow, an intermediate, and a deep, then obviously, if they're smart, what they'll do is take away the deep and the intermediate and give you the shallow, but sometimes these guys will jump the shallow and leave the intermediate, or sometimes they'll jump the intermediate and the shallow and give you the deep ball. Um, but regardless, I'm creating three layers on this defense. This is what we call vertically layering the defense. Um, we're creating layers vertically that pose problems for that, that defense. Another thing we could do is, and, and that would be something like, let me, let me just draw it vertically. So like a flood, a simple flood concept, okay? Like a 12 yard out, and a five yard out, four yard out, okay? Deep ball, intermediate, shallow. Flat player out here, there's one flat player. Does he want to play the back half of the flat and give up this throw or does he want to jump this throw and we throw it in the bucket over the top to the intermediate. Um, you know, and if you get a corner that starts getting nosy, because we start banging him with this, he starts going here, and obviously you gotta be willing to throw that deep ball. So that's a simple vertical. Now I know the routes are horizontal there, but that is a vertical layering of the defense, okay? And simple high to low reads for the quarterback. Now, something we could do like a let's do a curl, a curl uh curl out snag concept here. So we get a snag route here, off a slant stem, an out, and a curl. Okay. You can see the layers right now. This flat player is stretched to the out and the curl, and the hook player is stretched between. So I got my hook player that's sitting in here, and I got my flat player that's sitting out here. Poses the problems. This would be a horizontally layering the defense. You know, if this guy jumps here and the flat player jumps the curl, then we have the out. If the flat player jumps the out, hook player jumps the hook, we have the curl, and vice versa. Okay? Depend you have three on two, essentially. Um, that would be horizontally layering the defense. Now, I would argue this, and I think as a as calling pass plays, your pass plays have to have something, each one of them has to have something that comes off of them that gives you a deep threat. And what I mean by that is, so let's let's take that example again. We're playing cover three, okay? So we got a hook curl backer here, we got a flat player here, okay? So we got a deep third, we got a flat, we got a hook drop, okay? So let's run that same concept. Curl, snag, out, okay? Very simple, very commonly used concept. Everybody does something like this. Okay, now what they're gonna get smart, if you're a team that runs this concept a lot, you're gonna tell your hook guy to match up on that snag route. Tell your flat guy to chase the out, and tell your corner to rob the curl. So when you're saying robbing something as a defensive guy, you're saying take it away. So the corner starts robbing the curl. Well, they got it covered up now. So you've got to have something that comes off of this that does something. So maybe this is your curl up series, okay? Where instead of running the snag, this guy comes down here, he shuffles, and he hits the middle safety, okay? And this guy, for the up we still run the curl, this guy runs the out and up like a wheel. Now, if that corner jumps that curl, we got an outside backer running with a wide receiver on an out and up. It's a good matchup for the offense, okay? Or he runs really hard to the out and he doesn't even get there when we're in the out. 
but that would be something coming off of that. And I think every pass concept that you have needs to have something that comes off of it to complement it. Otherwise, I can draw up a defense that's going to take away anything if I start robbing routes with certain concepts. Um, and, and people don't run that many concepts when you really look at it. Can't still be good at it. Okay. Went over that, went over that. Oh, very quickly. Um, so when you're dealing with man-to-man, -man, what you want to run is quick breaking, uh, timing routes, slants, outs, throwing them off the cut, um, or, or matchup type routes, you know, fades, uh, where, you have, where you think you have a good matchup. Double move routes would be another good thing. So like uh, post corners, tough route man-to-man to, -man to cover. Um, hitch and go, hitch, because they're going to be soft with the hitch usually because they're going to give you the hitch. So these are, these are things you run man-to-man. -man. Versus zone, we're going to try to layer. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick example. Uh, let's say cover three here. Safety, corner, corner, and let's just draw this half of the field. we got our hook player. I'm going to draw it as a hook player here. we got our flat player. Okay, this would be a dig post under concept. So we're going to run the post. We're going to run the dig. Mm. We're going to run the under. Okay, and you can run it any combination of this. So dig post under. So now what we have is, again, vertically layering. Three layers on two layers, okay? And we see, hey, and over here maybe we run something where we have like a uh, slant. All right, or a snag inside there. Good. So if this guy drops to the intermediate and the safety hopefully plays the post to be smart, then we have the, the under. If and if, but if, if this guy's catching on the under and hurting him, he may get nosy to the under. We may get that dig right between those two guys. That's an example of, of a vertical layering one with, with crossing routes. Another common concept. We already showed smash in one of the other videos against cover two. We'll show it again. Corners are down in cover two. They're trying to funnel inside. They're going to expand their safeties over here a little bit. Okay. And they've got a really curl player here. And they've got a middle player. Okay. So we're running smash. So we're going to go hitch, corner. So simple high-low read now. This is very tough for this safety to get to this, especially with this guy stretching the inside of him here. Okay, so if the corner, see the corner, throw the corner if you're the quarterback. Corner sinks, send the hitch. Okay, simple, that's what we call smash. Smashing the corner down to open the hole in cover two. Um, that's basically it, guys. There's, there's, a, there's a myriad of combinations you can run, but the concepts are all the same um, as far as what you're trying to do to the defense. You're either trying to you know, create vertical layers or create horizontal layers, and then again, have a complementary route that comes off of those um, that allows you to, to do something if they are robbing your routes. That's it.